these officers are trained just as well, if not more so, specifically in blood draws than, than the EMS personnel that were previously doing it. Some Austin police officers are adding a new skill to their resumes, drawing blood. The department launched a new pilot program that would allow officers to draw blood from people suspected of DWI rather than EMS personnel. So what's driving the push to make this happen? Due to staffing issues with EMS, we were seeing a shortage and problems with uh, the blood draws. Of course, we want to do it legally, and then the next objective would be to get it as quickly as possible. Every minute that goes by, we're, we're losing evidence. So far, four officers have been trained to draw blood. APD stresses the location for drawing blood won't change just the person behind the needle. It might be an EMS person, it might be a doctor or nurse at a hospital, or it might be a qualified technician who works for APD who is also a police officer. We're not going to be drawing blood on the side of the road because now we have officers. It's still going to be in a sterile facility at the jail. But some people are skeptical. It's one thing if it's a medical professional drawing your butt, but a police officer. That's Casey Olvera. She's the creator of Sober Society. She founded the organization after tackling sobriety following her own DWI arrest in 2021. You're in that state of mind that you don't know what's going on, which is also kind of scary because you you don't know if they're going to mess up. She says the process of being booked is scary in itself and the possibility of an officer drawing your blood. It's a bit terrifying. For APD, they say it's a measure that had to be done. The overall benefits we feel is, is uh, far outweigh uh, the negatives of, of doing this. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.